These cool transitions where something flies in off the side of the screen are actually really easy to do. Let me show you how in Adobe Premiere Pro and Photoshop. So if I've got two clips cutting into each other, I just wanna grab the first frame of my second clip. You can use the up and down arrow keys to skip between cuts and right and left arrow keys to go one frame. So I'll press export frame. I can even import it into my project and then right click and edit that in Adobe Photoshop. When you're in Photoshop now, everything is so easy. You even just have this select subject button. If you go to the object selection tool, there's even cool toolbars where they recognize people in your photos. And I can even just select only the pants or shoes in this case, if I wanted to do different cool effects. But I'm gonna select the whole person and I'm just gonna right click and layer via copy to bring that on its own layer. And I'm gonna hide the background layer. Depending on your photo, you can even just try clicking the remove background button and one click it's done. So you just wanna save this in a file that allows transparency. You can use the Photoshop document or just save a PNG as a copy. And going back in Premiere, you can actually just drag that file onto your timeline or your project media bin. I'm gonna trim this so that it ends right about where the second clip starts. So it's starting before the clip comes in and we're just gonna animate it in. So let's search for an effect called transform and add it onto this transparent cutout we have. And in the effect controls panel, we can go to the transform effect and I'm just gonna add a keyframe on the position so that it starts off the screen. So I'll just keep moving the X axis to the left. And as I go to the end of the clip, I can actually just hit this reset button so that it comes back to its original position. You can add velocity on these keyframes if you want, like ease and even adjust if you wanna give it a little bit more of that slam into place feeling. But the main thing I'll do is increase the shutter angle. This will give us a nice motion blur. Finally, as a last blending touch, I can actually just add a dissolve transition between my two original clips. I'll try additive dissolve because it gives us a cool little flash. I can click on that dissolve and move it in between the two cuts here in the effect control panel and I can shrink the size of this transition to my liking. So from here, you can speed things up or slow things down just with timing the keyframes and incorporate this effect into your next editing project.